So now that I've got my filters applied, one of the things I can do is I can apply this total row. If I check on it, what's actually going to happen is it's going to go through and it's going to add in all my numbers. Now, let me do a little quick format to that. And we can see that I have suddenly $24,000 uh, collectively across uh, January 2016, still in the future. But one of the things that's beautiful about this is now if I apply any of my filters, either through the filter button or through the slicer, say for example Saturday, I can see a total of my filter. Notice that 24,000 is missing. So suddenly I can say, what's my Saturday coffee uh, total? Not really a lot, but what about my special drink? Eh, not that great. Uh, gifts? Food? So I can see food and uh, coffee, those are actually sort of my hot sellers, if you will. So this allows me to work off of uh, just being able to run a total. Now what if I want to run a total off again? All these different filters. Notice that's what I'm doing here is I'm uh, picking these filters. What if I wanted to see the subtotal for say every day? Well that would be a little bit more annoying if we think about it because I'd have to go through and I want to see the subtotal of this, I want to see the subtotal of this, I want to see the subtotal of this. You get the point. One of the things I can do is first I'll need to convert my table into a range. Just a normal range. We're basically removing the concept of a, t uh, a total or a table from our table, if that makes sense. One of the things you're going to get is this dialog box. It's going to say, are you sure you want to convert uh, back to a normal range? Obviously, yes. That's why we're clicking buttons. But you're going to see we lose a lot of that same information. Our total row is still there which is nice but the slicers are missing a lot of other parts are missing from this which is okay because what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our data tab and we're going to select subtotal now when we select subtotal we get a dialog box basically asking us at, when things change at particular things uh, I know that was a, when things change on a particular say day or week segment, amount, uh, transactional day. When we change every day, uh, what I want you to do is use the sum function. I want you to add everything up uh, on some number. Now, if we left it at, uh, if we change it to, say, week, we'd get all these week numbers getting added up. But if we leave it at amount, these subtotals are going to get added up. So I want the subtotal for uh, you know January 1st, for example. Well, I'm going to get those numbers and add them together. And as soon as I hit OK, that's exactly what we see. Suddenly, when transaction day, when my A column changes from 1-1-2016 to 1-2-2016, we create a subtotal row. And what do we do? Well, we grab all the data inside of the amount section, the amount column, and add it together temporarily. One of the things you're going to notice is we've got suddenly these three panels over here on the uh, left. And if I click on, say, one, it condenses everything down so I see the grand total. If I expand it out to three, that explodes everything out so I literally, literally see everything that I saw before and on top of that the subtotals. But if I click on number two, number two is actually going to give me just my subtotals. So I can see all of a sudden my days without looking at all the mess. Pretty nice.